If x and y are two finite sets, mean that the members can be counted, such that the number of elements in set x is 9, the number of elements in the intersection of both set x and y equals 4, the number of elements in the union of both x and y equals 15, then what is the number of elements in set y? So let's just put down that information. Number of elements that we have in set x, we're told is 9. Now remember, set x and y, they're intersecting sets. So you're going to have common members to both sets. Number of elements in set y, we're not sure. That's what we're asked to find out. Um, we're told that the number of elements in set x is 9. In the intersection, we're told that the number of elements is actually equal to what? 4. So let's put the 4 here in the intersection. Now what we're told is that in the union, that means when we add this section, let's call it section A, let's call it section B, let's call it section C. When we add section A, B, and C, we should get a total of 15. All right, so in this section here, what amount should we have? Well, A, let's look at this. Section A, what amount should be here? All right, in this section. This middle part is B, this part is C. Well, in section A, what we're going to have is 9, that's in the entire set, X. Take out the middle portion to have the remaining portion. So in the number of elements in set X only, this portion here should be 5. So that when we add it to the middle section, we get a total of 9 members in X. And if we want to find out what the amount in C should be, we do the same thing, right? But guess what? We do not know the number of elements in set Y. But what we do know is that in the union, right, when we add section A to section B to section C, we should get 15. Remember, we know what this section has, 5. This has 5. This section has 4. That gives us a total of 9. How much more do we need to get 15? Well, 15 minus 9 is equal to 6. So 6 should be here. So when we add the 4 to the 5 and the 6, we get a total of 15, number of elements in the union. So the number of elements in set Y will be what amount? It will be the five, 4 plus the 6 will give us 10. And here's another way to do it. There's actually a formula. The number of elements in the union of two sets, X and Y, is equal to the number of elements, think about it like distributive law, number of elements in set X, plus number of elements in set Y. But when you do that, you're actually counting the middle section twice. So think about it. Here we have set X. And here we have set Y, intersecting sets. When you count the number of elements in set, in set X, you count these members here, right? And also count these. So these are the number of elements in set X. Then you count the number of elements in set Y. You're going to count these members, right? That's Y only. But you have to count these members too because these members are also part of set Y. Do you realize we count these members in the middle twice? That is, remember what this section is? This is the number of elements in the intersection. So let me just write it better. The number of, these are the number of elements in the intersection of X and Y. So we count in the intersection twice. Right? So when we add the number of elements, when we count the number of elements in set X, we got these, including the set middle. Count the number of elements in set Y, we count these, including middle again. So we have to take out one of the intersection. So in other words, this portion that we counted twice, we take out one of them, which is symbolized by subtracting N number of elements in x intersect y. Okay, so that's basically it, right? Remember, number of elements in x plus number of elements in y, but we have to take out the intersection. So now we can put the information in. We can say, well, number of elements in the union is 15. We're given that in this word problem here. Number of elements in x being 9. Number of elements in y, we do not know. And in the intersection, if we have a total of 4, as we we're told here. So put that in as well. So these numbers 15, 9, and 4, we get it from this statement here. We can just read it over to see that. So what we can do, we can say 15 is equal to, let's group the numbers together. 9 
this is a minus 4. I'm providing the number of elements in Y here. So this is going to be 15 is equal to 9 minus 4 is 5. And of course, the number of elements in Y must be 10. So when we put plus 10, we get 15. So this is our answer. Or if you want to do it algebraically, we can just transpose the 5. We have 15 minus 5 equals number of elements in Y. Or we can say we subtract can say we subtract the, the the five from this side, cancel it off. Likewise, we subtract five from this side, 50 minus five, and that will give us a total of um, our difference of 10, I should say. So this is our answer.